Hi, my name is Chris Palmer, Senior Sales Engineer at Faro Technologies, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Send to Revit app for Faro Scene. The Send to Revit app enables the VirtuServe tools to be used within the standard Faro Scene environment, specifically focused at Revit. It's installed as part of the PointSense suite or PointSense for Revit setup. It can be downloaded separately from the Faro 3D App Center and it will only function with a licensed install of PointSense for Revit. We're now going to focus on the Send to Revit app. As you can see I'm in Scene here now in the Explore tab. And if we move across to the Apps and the Send to Revit app, you should find this app is installed as part of your PointSense for Revit or PointSense Suite installation. We're just going to go now and press Open Toolbar and anybody who's used PointSense in the past particularly with VirtuServe, will notice that a lot of these commands are the same commands that are inside VirtuServe, which we now have access to use inside Scene. We can use these within the 3D view, but we can also use these within the quick views. So I'm just loading in a quick view now. The first thing you'll notice is that my cursor has changed and I have this 3D selection function. If I was to click now, that would create a point on that surface. However, to navigate in scene now, we need to hold down the shift key with our standard left click to enable us to pan and um, rotate around. If I just zoom in at this wall, I can go and activate a command now inside the toolbar, such as the level command. And I can take a level on the floor here. And what will happen in my neighboring Revit project is that we'll send that level into Revit. So you can see here now we have this floor 2. If I go and rename that as ground and we can open that one up. You can see we've cut that level at that plane. Similarly now let's go back to the 3D view here and let's go into scene again and let's go and take another level selection at the top of that wall again back into Revit we can see it's cut this nice plane at the top of that wall and we'll rename that one top of wall okay now if we want to draw this wall in using the center Revit commands and um, the same commands which we have open in the VirtuServe tools section of our point center ribbon we can now go and activate the wall command we then have the choice about using automatic levels or we can define our levels. And since we've just chosen our levels, we can go and now and select the ground as the base and the top of wall as the top. We can then go into type and we can choose the type of wall that we want to insert here. So I'm going to go with 100 millimeters of block work with 12 mil of plasterboard either side. We can also choose the type of wall fit we want to to do now. So we have a, a, a standard straight wall, a curved wall, or we have a continuous wall. So let's go with a continuous wall now. And what I'm going to do is just go into my 3D view and I'm just going to go and unload this cloud that we've been working with and load in one of these perspective views. And you can toggle through these views with the F2 key. So you can see I've now moved a bit closer to that point cloud. So now I activate this continuous wall command and I can make selections on the point cloud at the start and end of each run. We don't have to be too cautious about selecting the end of the wall as the software will automatically join that wall at the connection. So you can see here we've just done these two connections. So now I'll just go back into scene and I'll move this window out of the way. I can go and choose on the small wall here. If I press the F2 key that's panning me around and I can just continue my wall selection along this route. F2 key again. So we're essentially clicking a start and end point on each wall surface. We go now into Revit and have a look at what we've created. And I'll cancel that wall command we navigate around you can see we've now got those walls inserted according to the levels we set 
and the selections we made inside scene. So let's just hide the point cloud off for a second now. Again, we may want to use some of the window or door commands the same way we can do in VirtuServe. If we go into scene again now and navigate around, if we want to put in maybe one of these windows or doors, we can do this again from 3D view or from the 2D view. We may get a slightly better angle on this from the, some of the um, 2D, from some of the 3D views. So if we go and select the door command, we can go and select a standard type of double door. As long as we take the box which says create new family type and use the two diagonal points fitting command, we can take a selection at the top and a selection at the bottom corner of the door. And what we'll find inside Revit is that our door has been inserted according to those selections. If we go in and click on that door, you can see that what we've done is we've duplicated that type of door and the software has changed the parameters for height and width and changed the name to match those changes in parameters. So this is a nice easy way for us to work through the point cloud and insert some doors. Again, top corner, bottom corner of the frame. If we go through into Revit, you can see now we have that door inserted. We do have lots of other tools within this menu. However, I would refer you to a previous video regarding VirtuServe, which goes through each of the different tools systematically. Thank you for watching.